What's up, guys? We are here with round one of uh, Blaine Chief's tourney. Basically, he uh, he also the tourney in OU Tour, and uh, it's on Pokemon Showdown. Uh, this is my round one match. Uh, in order to be in the tour, you had to get seventeen hundred or higher, I believe, on Showdown. It might be seventeen fifty. Not entirely sure. Uh, either way, I still had my alt that I got to number one with. Uh, it had decayed, but it was still over seventeen or over the amount we needed. So I was able to join the tour. And here is round one. I'm actually playing FXD, who is actually a good friend of mine, Valentine, on uh, Small Island. So let's start off with the uh, match. So he's going to lean off with his Talonflame. I'm leaning off with my Breloom. I don't really fear him because I am Focus Sash. So I'm just going to go right for the uh, safe Rock Tomb as he decides to U-turn out into his Mawile. Now, in all honesty, uh, that was a fair play because he was able to get off Intimidate. But he makes a really bad misplay in my opinion right here. He decides to let me put his Mawile to sleep. Now, he did already get off the Intimidate on me with Mawile, which is fine. But the Spore was kind of obvious. I went for it because it was the safest play. But he easily could have just switched out into his Breloom to dodge the Spore because Grass type. And he could have went for two Mach Punches and knocked me out or even predicted my Switch. Or even went for Bullet Seed plus Mach Punch. So that's a pretty bad misplay on his part. Um, it's, you know, it's going to cost him later as you guys will see. So he lets me play his Mawile to sleep. I'm going to take this as an opportunity to switch out into my uh, Lander since he, uh, even though he did take his one guaranteed turn of sleep, I'm just playing around with sleep turns hoping he doesn't get the uh, second turn sleep. And what I can do right here is just go for my rocks, forcing in his Latias because I want to force it into Defog. So I'm going to take this as an opportunity to switch out into my Choice Scarf T-Tar, knowing that I can uh, knock him out with the uh, Crunch. I'm going to go right for that Crunch as he is going to switch out into his Garchomp, which I'm fine with because I did break a potential Sash. I got off damage on it, and uh, I could probably, I can knock it out with uh, HP Ice from my Thunders or, um, you know, my Landers is Earth Power. So I'm going to switch directly into my Landers because it is my initial switch in as he decides to lay up his rocks. Might have been a bad play on my part if he had gone for Outrage, but he decided to go for the SD right here, and I'm just going to take this as an opportunity to sack my uh, Breloom. I do have Aegislash, which could come in on the Outrage, but I'm an SD Aegislash, so I don't want it taking any unnecessary damage. So he's locked in Outrage. At that range of HP, I can easily go for the uh, Life Orb HP Ice and knock him out as uh, Garchomp is going to go down. So the reason he didn't switch into his uh, Latias right here is because he was fearing me to be the uh, Life Orb Mixed Thunderous with uh, Knock Off, which isn't necessarily a bad play, but to go into a sleeping Pokemon and hope you wake up is kind of, you know, I don't know if I agree with it right here, but either way, I'm going to stay in right here expecting him to um, want to actually play rough the incoming T-Tar. Did not want to go into T-Tar right here as I'm actually going to stay in one more time. Um, he was more than likely going to wake up. He had to wake up right there. That was the final turn, but I predicted him to predict my uh, T-Tar to come in as I'm pretty sure he knew I was Scarf Tar. And uh, that's why I stayed in and went for the Thunderbolt as opposed to switching out. So it was kind of a 50-50 right there, but I got the uh, better end off because I did predict him as I'm able to knock out his Mawile. And Mega Mawile, usually being a big threat, did nothing this battle. So he ends up going out to his Talonflame right here. I'm going to switch out into my uh, T-Tar as it is my safest switch in. I don't care if he goes for Will-O-Wisp predicting that. I can easily knock it out with the um, Stone Edge after that. He goes for the Brave Bird. Uh, based on the damage, I'm thinking that he might actually be Sky Plate as uh, he does reveal the Roost right here. So I went for the Stone Edge because it was my safest play. He went for the Roost, uh, predicting me to go for the Pursuit. Sorry about all this pausing, but it's easier just to explain. Um, he went for Roost, expecting me to go for Pursuit. The reason I went for Stone Edge, though, is because I didn't want to give his Azumarill a free Belly Drum. If Azumarill came in after and decided to go for the Belly Drum, uh, Stone Edge would bring it down to the point where, basically, Stone Edge would do about 50%-ish, 60%-ish. Uh, he would get a Citrus Berry, then go back down to Belly Drum, and he would be at around 30%-ish, which means that... I could knock him out with uh, Mega Gyarados' EQ or something like that. So the point of that was so he could not get up a belly drum with his Zumero and sweep me. So he decides to go out to his brain room right here. I'm glad because uh, I'm able to break a potential Focus Ash. So I'm just going to leave in my uh, Tyranitar as Death Fodder as he's able to go for the uh, Bullet Seed and knock me out. But now I do have a safe switch in being my... Um, Landorus, I don't want to go out to my Age Slash because he hasn't put in something to sleep, and uh, Landorus basically forces in his Latias, which will give me the safe switch in to my Age of Slash. So, able to go right for the Psychic as uh, Latias does come in. Gonna switch out into my Age of Slash as it is a pretty safe play. He's more than likely gonna want to go for the Defog anyway, and the best he could do is probably Draco or even HP Fire, which won't do too much. 
and it's kind of time to go for games so i am gonna go right for the uh, swords dance right here his mods have been weakened he pulls out the healing wish though which is a great play because uh i actually haven't activated uh braylon's focus sash i haven't brought it down to it so he's able to get right back up to full hp and uh, survive the shadow sneak anyway he didn't really need his sash anyway but he's gonna put me to sleep and uh right here his best play is switching directly into his Azumarill on a Sleeping Age Slash, going for Belly Drum, and basically sweeping my team right there. So, I'm going to pull an aggressive switch into my Thunderous, that way he is not going to be able to set up a Belly Drum. Uh, he could have went for Rock Tomb, but it was more likely that he would go for his most favorable play, and uh, right here he's going to go right for the uh, last ditch Aqua Jet. Even if he had sacked his uh, Braylon to the T-Bolt, then went for the Aqua Jet, I still had Lanners, which could live... Um, Aqua Jet at that range of HP, get off an Earth Power, and then I could just go out into my Gyarados and get off the Intimidate and then just go for Earthquake from there. So I'm pretty sure I still had the game after that, but uh, either way, his last was Breloom. He's able to go for the uh, Mach Punch on my uh, Landorus, and I was able to knock him out. So that was a good game, Valentine. A few misplays, um, but you know, it's part of the game. He's a bit rusty. Uh, still a good friend of mine, so it was a really fun game. I'm on to round two of Blaine Truth's tourney, and I will be uploading every single round. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like if you want to see the rest of the tourney and you want to support me. And, uh, you know, any comments, I appreciate them. So, until next time, guys, later.